<laughs> oh, now that he's here, I can finally, finally say this. I'm sorry to inform all our fans that What's Up 279 can, can quit the podcast. And in his place, we, we have brought in XX Brastica 455. Hello. So I place. use a better microphone than that other other guy. Also, I have an accent, as you can tell. I am from some area in the world. I do not know which where 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 it is from, but yes, hello, hello, my okay. friends. Good runs that what's up, kid. He was he was terrible. Oh yes, he was very terrible. He did not know what the hell he was talking about. But now I know what I'm talking about. Just kidding. I just came in here. What are we talking about? R- rude people in stores. Oh, okay. That reminds me. One time, I I uh. Long time ago in Walmart, I go and I try to buy chicken. And this other elderly man approaches me because I was already holding the chicken. And this elderly man approaches me and says, Boy, what are you doing with that chicken? That is my chicken, even though I clearly was holding it first. And so he says, What are you doing with my chicken? I had it first. And it was obviously in my hand first. And he was nowhere near me. By the time, okay, I'm done with this accent. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I thought you were. Anyways, yeah. I thought you were gonna do like the accent, like whenever you're talking about the person talking to you. I thought you're gonna be like, "Hey, oh, that's my person, chicken." He's talking to me, but yeah. Or well, like an anyways, Indian voice. Um, um. So I was I was trying to buy this chicken, and I was holding it in my hand, waiting to be checked out by uh, one of the store clerks, and he. Just came up to me for no reason. I, he sm- he smelt a little drunk on his breath, honestly. Um, <laughs> and he comes up to me and he's like, "What are you doing with that chicken? That is my chicken. I had it first. It was in my basket, and you took it out of my basket." Basket. But, um, no, it was in his basket. First of all, he wasn't holding a basket. He was just holding like a case of of beer, and um. <laughs> Literally, the chicken was on a hot rack that was just sitting there so you could take it and then go pay for it. But no, he's like, it was in my basket. I had it in my basket. And I was like, no, you didn't. And is why are you store, Is me? the entire store your basket? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean... Store is my basket. It belongs to me. Hey, I mean, if you think about it, the world is your oyster, so... So, yeah, anyways, this guy, he's like... He's like, that was my chicken, it was in my basket. And I'm like, why are you being so rude right now? I had it first. It was sitting on the hot rack. It was the last one, so obviously I'm taking it. And he's like, give it to me, it was in my basket. And I was like, you don't even have a basket. And he's like, yes, I do. And he's trying to show me his alcohol. And I'm like, that doesn't count as a basket. My hands count as a basket. <laughs> <laughs> annoyed like are you are you out of your mind and like you could smell the drunkness on him and i was like oh my god he's drunk and so i politely ask him please please stop i had it first and it was mine if you want more you can go and talk to the the people over there that are making some fresh and he's like i want it now oh try (laughs) hey trying to do that schnick impression are we and no um, no, he's doing the Veruca impression. Don't care how I want it now. <laughs> from is that from the old classic or the remake? Yeah, it's from the old classic. Veruca? And, oh, whatever. So, like, I I no, tell this really guy to go back there and get another one, but no, he doesn't want to listen to me, and he insists on that I give it to him. And I wasn't I wasn't going to do that because we were already running late and I had just run in there just to get the chicken and some Gatorade powder, so I was holding both in my hands. And I was just like, dude, please, I've got places to go. Can you please just stop? And he's like he at this point he was pissed off and he was he was starting to get annoyed and like he was getting closer to me and I was like, Oh my god And he's like, That is my chicken. I want you to give it to me now. Because, or else, I will get the store manager, and I will get you a ticket. And <laughs> you, you should like, have done is you said, stranger, stranger, stranger. <laughs> yeah, you are a minor. <laughs> no, no, you want to know what you should have yelled? 
Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. God dang it, Adam. Or, or, or no, even, no, 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 wait, even better. Alcoholic, no beverage drinking. He touched, he touched me. Alcoholic, no <laughs> beer drinking. I tell this person, it's mine, please, I'm, I can go get a store manager and re we can review the tapes. I picked it up first, it's mine. And then at this point, he just got flaming pissed. Like, his face turned tomato red. Like, he was about to, like, whoop my ass. But what he does instead is he takes the expensive uh, case of alcohol he was holding, pick, puts his hand above his head and goes, I want it now! <laughs> 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 At this point, I was like, this guy is crazy. So what I did was I went to one of the uh, the cashiers, and I was like, um, can I get some help? This man just broke some alcohol and is screaming at me. Can you please help me? And they were like, and then all I hear, yes. He picks up the phone. And I get the manager to the, the front of the store. The manager to the front of the store. <laughs> did he sound like that? Yeah, he like... He's legitimately sounded like, "Hello, welcome to the grass cramp." <laughs> <laughs> so the manager gets up there, right? And you know what the manager says? The manager says, "Sir, he had the chicken first. So first of, of all, it's not your chicken. Second of all, you're drunk. I can smell it on your breath." And third, oh, way, you way. I, thought, I thought you were saying he gave it to him. No, he gave it to me because I was oh, obviously God. the same. <laughs> he was like, sir, let me smell your breath. You are holding a case of alcohol. Let me smell your breath to see if you are drunk. And he was like, wretched, like smelling. He was obviously drunk. And the, the, the store manager said, sir, you are drunk. So first of all, you're not supposed to be drunk in public. Second of all, you broke merchandise. You're going to have to pay for that before you leave. And third, he had it first because he's the one that's normal. <laughs> and not... And, and like, at that point, the man was... He was struggling to stand, like, oh my god. So, at that point, the manager calls the police. And th the man, being the dumbass he is, drunk, he's like, They'll never catch me alive! And, like, he runs out of the store... And then the big, the the buff uh, security guard there, like, he's a really buff guy. He legitimately, he was trying to get out of the door, and the, the security guard just stands there. And the freaking guy, you know what happens? What? <laughs> he runs directly into the security guard. He smacks right into him, thumps <laughs> backwards, and falls. And the security guard's just like, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> He's like, I, I, I'm leaving because you people are so rude. And the security guard's like, you're not going anywhere. You gotta pay for what you just broke. And that point, <laughs> fighting the security guard, and the security guard is just holding him back with one freaking arm. And <laughs> he's like trying to get away from the security guard, and the police show up, and he's <laughs> screaming, Communist! 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 <laughs> <laughs> And the police are just like, oh my god. And they tell him to calm down like three or four times, and they they just get fed up with it. And one cop is just like, you know what? Fuck this. He takes out his taser gun and starts tasing the guy. <laughs> so as I was on my way out, I hear the guy, communist. <laughs> <laughs> I just look over at him, and I'm like, you got what you deserved. And then you, and then you said, that's, that's what you get for messing with me. <laughs> Dude, I wish you would have filmed the situation. I should have, but I was in a pinch for a time. I needed to get out of there because I was running late, so. Did your parents believe your, your story? <laughs> oh, no. It was it was pretty crazy, but no, like, they didn't believe Like, Like, why are you so late? Um, well, you see, a drunk guy, like, yeah, 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 sure. Nice story. Mr. Yeah, F5 it's, saw it's, on Mulberry it's, Street. They're just like... You were just fucking around looking at the video games and was like, oh my god. Like, like an hour later, like, like, like a police report, 
Like, hi. <laughs> we need calls. Like, hey, we need you to talk to your son about his, about the report. <laughs> Please report. I can't, Why did I can't talk believe, to you about it? I can't believe your parents didn't even believe you. They did talk to me because the guy was fighting with other customers as well. He was. But well, they arrested I, the guy. They should have called in witnesses. Yeah, they did, and they just since I was uh I was the youngest one there. They were just like, "Oh, you're you're free to go. No no harm came," and <laughs> it's like, "What? Okay, whatever." And so they called like three other people, and the the three other people were just like, "Yeah, he was obviously drunk," and. Like, I didn't hear much walking out, but they said he was, like, obviously, obviously drunk, and he was just being a total ass to the staff and other customers there. So, yeah, that's what happened. I don't you want to know what, no, you want to know what you should have, you want to know what you should have done to make sure you got to your destination in time? You should have asked the police, hey, can you escort me to X place? I, I need a gig here. 